This two-part video features our principal engineer, Nasir Manan, and the usage of Siemens NX to create automated CAM workflows. This is achieved by developing the tool selection strategies and machining operations that Siemens can pull in to create the CAM program. This video will get you started. Hi, I'm Nasir Manan, principal engineer here at the Connecticut Center for Advanced Technology. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can set up Siemens NX CAM to fully use model-based definition. We're going to be going through the teach operation sets function, and we're going to be setting up a couple of rules that govern what machining strategy NX CAM uses to produce a particular feature, uh, but based off of the PMI that's associated with that feature. Here, we have a file open, and we have two spherical cutouts on top of this boss. We're going to use these two features to show the custom operation sets that we can set up. The first thing that we want to do is make sure that we're in the manufacturing workspace. To do that, come over to the application tab, click on manufacturing, and that'll put you in the manufacturing workspace. We want to come over to the machining feature navigator on the left. And we want to make sure that our two indents have been identified. The next thing we want to do is add PMI to these features. In order to add PMI, I'm going to jump back over into my modeling workspace and we're going to go over into the PMI tab. And let's assign a surface finish for this spherical indent. So we're going to go over to our annotations and we're going to choose our surface finish. We'll go ahead and click on our surface. And for the roughness here, we're going to choose an RA of 3.2. Uh, this is going to be indicating a, a little bit of a rougher surface finish. And we'll accept that. And then we'll add one more call out. We'll do a diameter. And for this one, we're going to set the diameter to be relatively open. We'll do a plus or minus tolerance of 100,000. And we want to specify the parameter. In order for Siemens NX CAM teach operation sets function to be able to use the parameters associated with the PMI, we have to assign a parameter name. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and type in diameter. for the diameter callout that we just placed in the 3D graphics area. From here, we can go ahead and close out of the dialog. And now you can see that we have a surface roughness and a diameter tolerance requirement on that spherical feature. Now that we have that defined, we can go back over to our manufacturing workspace. Now that we're in the manufacturing workspace, Let's create an operation that we can later reference and associate it with the feature. We want to click on our unused items to make sure that that's highlighted. Right click, insert operation. And we're going to do a, a mill contour as type. And we're going to choose our uh, contour area as our operation. In this case, we want to uh, leave the program as default to center. Uh, the tool, we want to select a eighth inch ball end mill. And for our geometry, we'll select our workpiece. And for our method, we'll do a, uh, we'll just keep the default on method. Select OK. That'll bring up the dialog for the particular toolpath. And what we want to do is Go over to the Geometry tab, specify our cut area to be associated with the spherical indent. And back over into the main, we want to change this to, or keep it at steep and non-steep for our method type. For our, our non-steep cut pattern, we're going to choose spiral, and we're going to uh, keep our step over at constant. We're going to change this to an absolute inch. And we're going to do our step over at 20 thousandths. 
down in steep cut pattern, we're going to change this to level helical. And we're going to change our Z depth per cut to an absolute value. And we're going to change this to 20 thousandths. Now we can generate the toolpath. See what it looks like. And click OK to be get out of the dialog. Now what we want to do is teach a custom feature. We're going to choose the geometry, the spherical cutout that's on the top of this boss. And we're going to teach NX that geometry. And later we're going to see how we associate the PMI with that geometry. So the first thing that we want to do is, as we're in the manufacturing workspace, we can go over to our machining feature navigator tab on the left, right click on the tree, go to teach features. And we want to expand out our machining feature under type, customer feature, and you would want to create, add a new feature type. I have one that I already named as indent. So I'm going to select that. And under the recognition rule, we want to expand that. Under customer features, you would want to select add new rule. I've already done that. We have the indent rule already specified. And in this particular case, because we have we added the PMI to that, to that geometry. We want to make sure that we additionally uh, attach the PMI annotations to the recognition rule. If you don't see this option, click on the dialog options at the top left and make sure that you're on the teach features more option. If you're less, you won't see that option. So we want to make sure that we have that selected on and select PMI annotations. That way we can access the PMI when we're creating our rules. In this case, we want to select the face, select teach recognition rule. And automatically you see that NX cam recognized the other feature that had the same geometry. And you can click on OK. Now that we've taught NX that custom feature, we want to come over back into our machining feature navigator, right click on an empty area in the tree. And we want to find those features that we just taught. I'm not looking for any of the parametric features, just the indent. So we just want to have that one checked on. And we're going to select find features. And right away, you see that the two features are highlighted there in red. So we successfully found those features. Click on OK. And now, NX cam has added the two indents to our machining feature navigator. Now that we've taught the custom feature, uh, we can go ahead and create a feature group. And then we want to create a feature process uh, that's associated with that feature group. We want to go back over to our machining feature navigator tab on the left. And we can select the feature that we taught that has the PMI attached to it, right click and group, you want to group features. <clears throat> Make sure that the method is set to specify that indent is the uh, feature type that is selected. And we're going to leave everything else as default and click on create feature groups. That'll create our FG underscore indent feature group. Click on OK. And over in our operation navigator, you can see that the feature group indent has been created and it is uh, properly highlighting the spherical indent that has the associated PMI. We can go back over to our machine uh, machining feature navigator and right click on the, the feature uh, that contains the PMI. And then we want to go to create feature process. This will open up the create feature process dialog. And we want to make sure that we have, in this particular case, uh, the FG underscore indent feature group selected. And our geometry type is set to workpiece. Click on OK. That will now associate a feature process to that feature group. Now that we have that feature group created and a feature process associated with that group, Let's see how we can teach custom rules to NX. Next, we're going to go over to our operation navigator. And you can see that NX cam has successfully 
created that feature group indent and associated the area mill operation to that feature group because that area mill operation had the geometry associated with it. Next, all we have to do is modify the parameters of the area mill operation. Because we have a looser tolerance on the diameter and the surface roughness callout isn't as strict, we can modify the main portion of this area mill operation. We want to make sure that this is set to spiral and the step over to be constant. And because of the looser requirements, we're going to keep this at 20 thousandths. And then for steep cut pattern, we want to make sure that we have Z level helical selected and we want to keep the Z level cut to constant. And we're going to set the depth per cut to be 20 thousandths as well. Just to double check, we can go over to our geometry tab, click on our specified cut area, and it should automatically select the spherical indent at the top. Now all we have to do is generate the toolpath. And then we can even go ahead and verify that toolpath. That looks good. So we can exit out of the visualization and then click OK to accept that toolpath. Next, we're going to go into the operation sets for that feature group and teach machining rules that are associated with the PMI. If we go over to the feature group indent, we're going to make a copy of this. Right click and select copy, go to the workpiece right click and paste. We want to make sure that that will be placed under the workpiece. And now we have a copy of that feature group. We want to right click and rename this. And we're going to name this uh, indent tight tolerance. So if we go over to our feature group, the tight tolerance indent, right click go over to object and then teach operation sets. This will open up our teach operation sets dialog. And if we click on our feature group under the operation sets, you can see that I have accessible the diameter and the surface finish parameters. Further, we actually have a, a number of fields ac accessible under those parameters. For example, for diameter, I have the upper and lower tolerance limit accessible to me. And then under surface finish, I have actually a number of different uh, fields that are accessible as well. In this case, let's set up an equation. To set up this equation, we can go over to our diameter and select our upper field that we have accessible to us. And we want to add this to our to the negative of our lower tolerance. So our upper tolerance is we know to be five thousands. Our lower tolerance is minus five thousands. So if we want to get the overall ten thousand, um, we can add the upper plus the negative of the lower. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of parentheses <clears throat> to keep the equation clean. So we'll add a beginning parentheses. Then we'll add the negative of the lower tolerance. So we'll add another parentheses, add the lower tolerance field. We'll multiply this by negative one. We'll close that parentheses so that we get a positive. And then we'll add that to the upper. So we'll close that parentheses. And we want to make sure that the tolerance is equal to or less than the span that this creates. So we're going to select the less than or equal to. And we're going to specify the span as 10,000. What we can do from here is click the, uh, the, the, the check button that we see on the right to add that equation uh, to the application conditions. 
and then we can select the teach machining rule. Select OK. And now let's specify another machining rule for the looser tolerance condition. So if we go over and select our feature group indent, right click, go to object, teach operation sets, and we're going to do the same process by clicking on the feature group indent. We're going to start off with a beginning parentheses, add the upper tolerance, and we're going to add that to the negative of the lower tolerance. And we want to make sure that the if this is greater than the span of a hundred thousands uh, to be the condition so we're gonna click on the uh, check button that'll push it down to our application condition and now we can click on the teach machining rules to teach NX cam that particular condition click on OK now let's test to see what happens if we change this tolerance. So if we delete this feature group, let's go back over to our modeling workspace. We'll go to the PMI tab and let's change the 5,000 tolerance to be plus or minus 100,000. Close out of that and we'll go back over into our manufacturing workspace. This time, if we go over to our machining feature navigator, you'll see that uh, indent um, 26 has a requirement to approve the changes. Of course, we just changed the PMI, so we can approve those changes. And if we now select both indents and create a feature process, making sure that we have both the uh, loose and the tight tolerance operation sets uh, selected. We can click on OK. And if we go back over to our operation navigator, you can see that NXCAM successfully applied the correct operation set to the looser tolerance condition. And just like that, we taught NXCAM custom machining rules to apply when it sees PMI associated with the geometry. You're going to get consistent results. It's a way to capture that knowledge in such a way that you can apply it the same way every time. You can really see the power of using model-based definition. We can not only recognize features on the CAD geometry, but recognize the requirements that those features have to be made to by reading in the PMI. This saves a lot of time and ultimately a lot of cost for your manufacturing operations. I'm Nasir Manon. Thank you for watching.